Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another More with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a get it all done. I wish I could come up with something a little bit more catchier than get it all done. Give me some suggestions down below. Something to do with Brittany or Moro, something like that. But basically, this video is gonna show you guys everything that I have to get done today, which I feel like I could film one of these every single day because I have so much that has to be done. <sighs> But first, before anything else, I have to get ready for the day. Usually I get ready way later in the morning, so not before the kids get up, not after I drop off the kids at school, not before Scarlett goes to school, but usually right after. Frank will watch Fletcher, kind of get his day started, and then I'll come upstairs, get ready, do my hair, which I've already curled my hair, I've already washed my face, I'm getting into my skincare routine. I have now started to have an actual skincare routine and take my skin more more seriously, I had like a realization that this is my last year of my 20s. Well, I guess technically not because I'll be 29 a little bit of next year. But what I'm trying to say is I am almost 30 and I need to start taking better care of my skin. That is where Haldi comes in. Thank you so much to Haldi for sponsoring today's video. They are honestly what has helped and guided me. They are the reason why I have an actual routine. Let me just say that. And you guys know I have struggled with my skin a lot this past year. I had the perioral dermatitis. That has finally gone away. Since then, I knew I had to crack down on my skincare. Let's talk about Haldi, why we love it, why I recommend it to everybody. It is a free personalized skincare service that recommends products based on your skin, your budget, and your preference. What I ended up doing was I filled out a survey. I let them know which products I was using in the morning and at night and then based on that and my needs. So basically what they're there to do is just to help you fill in those blanks. You don't need to start from scratch. I am still using the cleanser that I was using before. They recommended the items that I was missing from my current routine. So I have all my items here. I have a vitamin C and D puffing serum. My face can be sometimes very puffy in the morning. That miracle in a bottle is amazing. I actually took all of these products on our cruise recently because I was like, okay, we're I'm still, even though we're partying it up, I still need to take care of my skin. So I was very strict about this. And then I also have this rose hip seed and fruit universal facial oil. I actually really like using this at night. Something that is so important, especially when I was gone, is sunscreen. I I'm so bad. That is the one thing I am so bad at is not putting on sunscreen. I know. So bad. This is by Elta MD Skincare and it calms and protects your acne prone skin and it's a sunscreen. And then last but not least, this is also a favorite. These are all my favorite, but I love this one the most. This is an exfoliating glow serum. I know this is not important, but let me just comment on how gorgeous this bottle is. So that's everything that came in my box and what I put for my budget. So depending on if your budget is low or high, I really like that that is personalized and they are female owned. I wanted to say that as well. You guys know women are badass. I love the fact that it's a female owned business. Telling you guys, taking care of your skin is so important and it took me up until now to realize that and become more serious about it. So if you guys don't know where to start, you don't know if the products that you're using are good for you or you need some recommendations, you are missing some from your routine, definitely check out Haldi. Cannot recommend it enough. I'll leave all of that information down below in the description. So I'm finished getting ready and start tackling everything on my to-do list today. All right guys, so we are starting this get it all done video with packing Scarlett's lunch for school today. She is having a blueberry bagel with cream cheese, some diced watermelon, some veggie straws, and some fruit snacks. And I'm gonna just say right now that this is a video of me getting it all done. Most days, Frank is out in the garage working on the laser and filling order, so I didn't get to show you guys any of that. I just filmed what I got done in a day. So if you guys would like to see maybe like a combination video or just what Frank does in a day, you guys will have to let me know. I will say that there's some clips that we were tackling stuff together. Um, but usually in the mornings after I get the kids off to school, we'll get Scarlett ready for preschool. We'll get her lunch going. And if I have any laundry to do, I'll go ahead and get that started for the day, which there's usually always a load of laundry that I can be doing. And since I had filmed the intro for this video, I went ahead and uploaded that footage to my camera and went ahead and edited it. 
And this is usually the time where I'll get any work that needs to be done. I'll help Frank package some orders. I'll get some editing done, get ready for the day. I had already gotten ready at this point. Let me know if you guys have a robot vacuum and also have a baby or toddler that is obsessed <laughs> with playing with the vacuum. He is constantly turning it on. Fletcher loves the robot vacuum. It kind of helps me out though because it vacuums everything. So I like to think that he's trying to help me out. Um, but for dinner tonight, we are having our one of our favorites, which is air fried salmon. I get this recipe all the time. I know I've showed it multiple times, but I'm going to show you guys again. And it's also really, really easy to make. Um, you can make it right when you're about to do the salmon in the air fryer or you can marinate it overnight. I chose to go ahead and do it this morning. So you're going to need one third a cup of brown sugar, one third a cup of water, one third a cup of soy sauce, and then one fourth a cup of water. And I season my salmon with garlic powder, a little bit of lemon pepper, salt, pepper, but you could really season it however you want. I guess kind of has to go with the brown sugar soy sauce marinade, but that's usually what I like to put on it. I mix all of that together and then I'll go ahead and season the salmon, put it in a Ziploc bag, put the marinade in there and then go ahead and put it in the fridge until it is time to air fry it. Like I told you guys, there is always laundry to be done. Sometimes I wish that I could just refluff my laundry three, four, five times, but usually because we have so much laundry to do, I can't really get away with that. So I went ahead and took Frank's laundry out of the dryer and went ahead and reloaded it with Aria's clothes that, I think it was Aria's clothes, well, whatever I put on before this morning, I went ahead and put that in the dryer and quickly folded all of his clothes. Before I picked up the kids from school, I made a quick target run. I had to pick up some medications for Nolan and some things that we needed for the house, like some paper towels and lint rollers, dishwasher pods, all the good, fun adult stuff that you need. Um, and I also ran into one of you guys. I don't know if she watches our More With More, More With Morrow's channel, but she follows me on Instagram. So shout out to Riley for coming up and saying hi. She said that she lives in the area and she was hoping to run into me. So like the one time that I go to Target, cause I've been doing a lot of drive up orders, she was shocked to see me. So just want to say hi Riley and thank you for coming up and saying hello got some command strips stuff for the dogs I got a new harness for Georgia now that she is getting bigger and then I picked up a few clothes items that I will show you guys in the next clip now, all right so we're gonna take a break from the voiceover because I know I hate doing voiceovers that long and I feel bad if you guys have to listen to me talk well, you still have to listen to me talk, but if you have to listen to a voiceover that long, um, but I put everything in the front seat because the stroller I didn't realize was in the back. And I wanted to show you guys because I didn't get to show you really inside. I was trying to hurry. I was on a time crunch picking up the kids. Actually now I just got here and they're already starting to come out. So um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I got from Target clothes wise because I didn't really get to show you. So I, before I went to go check out, I stopped by the kids section. And I picked up a couple shirts for Fletcher. This one says homegrown with a little tractor on it. And then this basic striped yellow shirt. And then I also got a couple shirts for Aria. She has like had a growth spurt and she's like her pants no longer fit her. Like one day they fit her, now they don't. So I did get her a couple shirts. This one says together. 
thought that was really sweet. And then this one says love. And got her some basic black yoga pants. Actually, these are really cool because they have like the little pocket in the side. And then also some tie-dye ones as well. But now she's having a growth spurt all of a sudden. And so was Fletcher too. He is now in 2T. He's not even 18 months old. Not even 18 months old. And he already fits 2T clothing. But I, now I'm realizing every time I go to Target, they never have clothes for the kids anymore. Like the sizes are very limited. I must have not gotten them soon enough because it is now warming up. Like today, it's going to be 70 degrees. It's 68 degrees outside right now. And and I'm thinking like mm, maybe I need to start shopping for spring and summer clothes. I say summer because we have like spring for two weeks and then it immediately turns into summer. But today has been a fairly busy day. You guys already saw what I've got done today and this morning. When I get home, we have to install something in the garage. That will be in a future more with Morrow's video and Frank's friend is gonna come and help him do that. Then I have to film something else. I did want to get a workout in today, but I don't that didn't happen that didn't happen so probably gonna wait until tonight I was gonna clean the girls room which I'm still going to try to do that because it is a mess or probably have them clean it but I have a whole basket full laundry basket full of clothes that I still have not put up since we got back from our trip and it's been a few days now so I'm like okay I need to probably put those up now anyways I'm gonna pick up the kids and I'll see you guys when we get home hands down the craziest part of the day is immediately right after school that's when all the kids are getting home from school uh, we have like a little routine where we go ahead and take our ipads out of our backpack go plug in the ipads go put our shoes away get our homework out go through any of their papers that they've had from that day and also wipe down their lunch boxes and disinfect it. And usually I'll go ahead and get some dishes done or kind of clean up the kitchen um, because by this time of the day, if me and Frank are busy working and not really cleaning up, the house can get really, really messy. Speaking of messy, here's Harlow's lunchbox. I'm like, what happened, Harlow? What happened to your lunchbox? You didn't have an explanation for that. So I just tried to wash it or wipe it down as best as I could. Like I said, as soon as the kids come home from school, I like to go ahead and just put everything away because it can be kind of overwhelming sometimes when we have backpacks and shoes and jackets and lunch boxes everywhere. Um, so that's why I like to try to have somewhat of a routine as soon as they get home. Um, and then I went ahead and hung up all their jackets and all of their backpacks and also put away the paper towels that I got from Target earlier. Fletcher was done with his snack. I don't know why I gave him a food pouch without a bib because he ended up squeezing it all over his clothes. It always happens that way. Like either when it comes to the food pouches, either they drink all of it or they just end up squeezing it all out and playing with it. So I got him all cleaned up and I wiped down his high chair and wiped down the floor. And then I'll go ahead and take anything that is on the stairs that needs to go upstairs. And I actually got a little basket, if you guys see it right there on the stairs to put things in, but we have just not been utilizing it like we should. I've been trying to remind the kids like, hey, I got this basket right here, so if anything needs to go upstairs, just put it in there. Um, so we're still we're still working on that part, but now I'm just vacuuming everything um, because usually after school as well, that's their snack time. So the kids will immediately go to the pantry, will immediately want a snack. So I'll go ahead and vacuum all those little crumbs 
any dog fur, anything like that. I know usually most people probably wait until after the kids are in bed or at night, but I, I can't do it. Like I, I can't cause then by bedtime and after dinner time, it's just built up at that point and there's crumbs and dog fur everywhere. So yeah, I end up having to vacuum probably like two or three times a day, at least vacuuming up the crumbs, maybe not even the whole downstairs. Let me just say that. Um, but now it is time to get started on dinner. Like I showed you guys, we're having air fried salmon tonight. We're also having some roasted Brussels sprouts and some coconut rice. We love Brussels sprouts. Aria has actually started to love them and eat them. So usually what I do is I'll turn on the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I will wash and cut up our Brussels sprouts, put some little olive oil on it, salt and pepper, some minced garlic, or you could put garlic powder on it, whatever you guys want to do. Mix that all together, put it on a baking sheet and I'll cook it for, or I guess bake it, roast it, whatever you want to call it for about 20 to 25 minutes. So you don't necessarily have to put the salmon in the air fryer. You can also put it in the oven as well. Personally, we think it tastes a lot better this way. So I know not everybody has an air fryer. If you do though, most have a seafood setting or you can put it at 350 degrees or 340 degrees, somewhere around there for about 15 to 17 minutes. And then I got the dog some new treats. We're trying something different than greenies. I know a lot of you guys were saying greenies are not good for them. So we're trying a different brand this time and seeing if they like them or not. I know I told you guys that I really wanted to clean the girls room I was unfortunately not able to get to it I was able to clean up a little bit you guys will see here in a second but Nolan wanted me to read his library book from school so I read that to him and then started to pick up their stuff and kind of get their room ready for bedtime but I just wanted to include this because I wasn't able to finish cleaning their room like I wanted to but I just wanted to tell you guys that I sometimes don't get it all done like I want to. You know, I have certain things on my to-do list. I don't tackle everything. I don't check off everything. You know, in this instance, I tried and was like, okay, listen, I'm not gonna stress myself out too much. We're getting a little bit too close to bedtime. I'm just going to worry about it tomorrow. And then I also have to remind myself, okay, well think about all the stuff that you did get done today. Like you were able to get laundry done and fold that. You were able to go to Target and get the things that you needed to get. Like I try to remind myself that and it kind of changes my perspective a little bit. Um, but then after we get the kids in bed, Hank and I will usually go ahead and clean up for dinner. We like to try to do this right after dinner, but tonight we were not able to do that. Like I said, we were cutting it close for our bedtime. So while he did the dishes, or while I did the dishes, sorry, <laughs> while I did the dishes, he wiped down the counters and picked up in the living room and he also vacuumed the floors as well. Then I'll go ahead and close all of the blinds and the curtains and usually we'll take this time to get any work done or I'll get any editing done or if we don't have anything to do, we'll just relax and watch a show together. Um, but tonight we had 
a stack of orders. You guys can see them on the table, but I needed to wipe down the table first. So tonight I actually needed to get some editing done. So after I finished cleaning up the downstairs, like wiping down the table and wiping down Fletcher's high chair, um, I went ahead and started editing my video and then Frank was still working on the laser and we have our Easter tags out right now. So we have been swamped with orders, which we are so grateful for. We appreciate the support and love you guys so much that has purchased our Easter tags. But this is getting towards the end of the get it all done video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I just wanted to let you guys know that we appreciate your continued support on more with moros and we're so glad that you guys are still supporting and watching us we love you guys thank you so much for watching i also quickly wanted to remind you guys to check out haldi and to take their skin survey i will leave that link down in my description all you have to do is click the link take the survey and try haldi and i will see you guys in my next video Even bye guys down i will keep on searching for my eyes Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down